Good morning, ladies. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Did you all survive the Super Bowl game? I know I did. I tried to stay out of the kitchen and I tried to uh, just, you know, really be careful. I did eat some things that I probably shouldn't have, but I didn't have lunch either. So um, I still ended up with maybe 100 calories over my limit for the day. So, but I did exercise twice yesterday. So that was helpful. And I did lift weights last night. So um, every little bit, you know, I mean, there's always going to be parties. There's always going to be so many celebrations and different things going on as life goes on. And we just want to do our very best, right? We just want to, you know, kick this obesity thing. We want to lose weight. We want to be our best self, you know, and um, that's what we're going to work on today. So we're going to do a little makeup today. I know you guys like makeup. So we're going to do a little makeup today. We are going to make a nice breakfast smoothie tropical summer blend yes and i am so excited for that because i don't know i don't even have my watch on today and i don't even know what time it is but i am 1 30 and i am starving i cleaned up the kitchen i did some last night put all the food away and all that and we had a big spread going on and so i cleaned up everything and i got all my counters wiped down and i got my sink cleaned and all the dishes in the dishwasher and just cleaning up a little bit. Tomorrow I can maybe do my floors, but today I got the counters at least wiped down and um, looking much better, but there's just always so much to do in our home. We could just go on forever, right? I mean, at this place, I could just go on forever and there's just, it's big. There's just so much to this place. And I would wear myself out if I tried to keep everything perfect. And I just can't. And I used to be able to when I had a smaller house, a regular home, but not a home with like four businesses in it and all this different stuff. It's like just a lot. We have a lot going on. Um, so anyway, enough about me. How are you guys doing? I want you guys to know I'm here for you. So I am here for you. We have a new little um, setup here today. Let me know how this looks on film, how you like it. If you like this much better, if you can see me much better, um, I'm going to be doing my makeup right here, front and center. I'm not going to turn. I'm going to be able to do it right here. So um, let me know if you like this better. Just say yes in the comments and I'll know what you're talking about. Um, because I'm trying to learn this new, um, stream yard for one, my last video was a little goof in it because it had like, I shut the camera off and then it was like a big void. And I was like, oh, I don't know what I did wrong, but today I'm just going to not shut it off because I still don't, I, I did see a pause button before. And then when I go on here, I don't see the pause anymore. So. I don't know. So I'm just going to leave the film run so it doesn't do that to you guys again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, so sorry about that. Um, and I didn't know how to fix it because I don't know how to cut video and all that. And maybe it's something I need to learn. Right. But um, for right now, I'm just a regular gal just doing a thing. <laughs> right. So we all want to think about Valentine's Day coming in a couple of days. So I have on my little reddish shirt. I don't have much red, but um, I'll try to do that this week. Make uh, all a red video this week um, if I can. Uh, red or pink or hot pink or something like that. So I think you guys would enjoy that, right? Because we want to be sweet to ourselves. We want to be um, loving, kind, gentle to ourselves, right? We want to say kind words to ourselves. We want to have all the goodness that is coming our way. And to do that, we have to block out the negativity and we have to focus on all the goodness that is just sitting in, in the universe waiting to come to us, right? We have to just, you know, want it, call it in, want it and bring it in. And that is all about opening our hearts, 
letting go for again, forgiving other people. You know, maybe you don't have someone, a significant other, maybe you're going through heartbreak or something like that. Um, you can check out my new book. I'll have it linked in the description um, for heartache. But anyway, um, we want to, uh, if we don't have that significant other and we don't have a husband and we don't have a boyfriend, or maybe we're going through a breakup or something like that, then you need to be really tender to yourself and you need to love yourself even more, right? Because no one else is there to love you like you should be loved, right? So we want to just do good things to myself. I'm very fortunate. I do have a husband <laughs> and um, that is very good to me. He gives me everything I could ever ask for, whatever I ask for. He's always like, wherever you want to go on vacation, just name it and I'll take you there. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. So um, hopefully a vacation is in our near future. I am sure that we will be going somewhere, but I don't know where. But anyway, let's get to the makeup already. So let's do it. So we're going to um, put on a little of this glow today. Well, first I want to do vitamin E because I think that sinks in your skin a little bit more. So um, I want to do that around my eyes. So I want to keep that going. And my face feels very dry right now from my shower. So I want to really hydrate it. And it helps to heal too, right? So vitamin E is great for healing. So if you have a little could use this probably on, I'm not going to, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not, but I would, if I had some sort of a bruise or some sort of a little burn, something like that, I would put vitamin E cream. If it's an open sore, I don't, wouldn't do that, but I would do it if it's just, you know, a little, a little, little something going on, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Now we're going to do a little of the glow. So this is a little tan and a little uh, tint to tan you. I don't know. I think it has a little um, helped. My, I was really pale white. So we're going to use a little of this. Have my hair pulled up a little bit today. I have some floors to mop today at my Airbnb. So I've got two three-day bookings over the weekend, which was very nice for summer. Uh, so that was nice that that came in. And um, so, yeah, I'm excited about that. And let's see what else we're going to use here today. Okay. I'm going to do a little, we're going to do a little of our, our vitamin E serum. I'm going to do this first. I just put a little on my a little on my finger here, and then I just kind of rub it in, and then just kind of dab it all around my eyes. And I actually think it is helping. I did my roller bar this morning, but I left it out, so I had to do it when it wasn't cold. So I think it has more of an effect if it's cold. Um, but I did use it. So I put it back in the freezer for, so it'll be ready for tonight. Um, but sometimes when I get tired, I get sleepy and then I forget to put it in the, um, put it in the freezer. And then we're going to do a little firming lotion. We have this one here. Oops. Sorry. I mean, it's kind of like a pressed down lid and it comes out with a little at the top. Just going to kind of put a little of that on off wherever we want to get a little firm. We sure want to do our neck, right? I want to do my neck. Do you guys want to do your neck? Sure you do. My little chubby cheeks. I love them. I just love them. However you are, just love what you have. Be grateful. And work on the problem areas as you go. We're going to do a little moisturizer. And my face needs a lot of this. A lot of it. And I'm just using... I don't have my glasses on. I don't remember. I believe it's a L'Oreal. 
feels nice on. And I'm going to load up on that today. Because I'm going to be a little bit outside today, I think. I hope at the other place. So I'm going to go in the woods. And I'm going to see if I can find some more pine cones. There's a bunch of pine cones in the back part of that. I'm just using it all throughout my hands because they're dry too. Um, the um, what am I wanting to say? The house, the um, Airbnb, it has um, a nice acre, three acre lot, and it uh, has um, a bunch of pine trees. So I'm going to see if I can get some more pine cones because I want to sell them this summer. So I'm going to be working on that some more. I'm just going to blend in some of these blemishes here. Something going on with my face. I've been taking off my makeup really good at night. I don't know what why one of the um maybe one of these don't agree with me as much as i think it does and we're just going to blend this all in side of our nose under our eyes and along our jawbone here One thing I want to get is a, um, like a toning um, cream, you know, a toning where you can tone like darker, like I could tone here darker. I've been doing it with just what makeup I have, but there is an actual toner that you can buy. So now we're going to put on our foundation and I just use this one. Cover girl. My mom used this forever. So I'll stick with a lotion one. Makes you look years younger. Okay. I will. But I have. Oh. It's a BS call. Spam. Sorry about that, you guys. I unplugged my other phone. I forgot about this one. Turning the volume down. Jeez. Oh, they get you some way, don't they? They're always one way or another. Looking for money. Can you donate today? Can you donate today? Can you donate today? Could you donate today? Please donate today. Oh my gosh, the calls we get. Please donate today. One organization after the other. I'm going to put a little powder on my nose. Kind of blend it in a little bit. Very nice. Put a little here too. That'll help my lip to look a little bigger. We'll try all kinds of things, right? That's the fun of it. That is fun. I'm having so much fun, especially when you guys join me. It's so much fun. <laughs> I do enjoy it. I do like it. Okay. Now we're going to use a eyeshadow. I have this red on today. I was going to look for some red lipstick. I probably have some. I was going to look in my other makeup bag. I'm just putting on the lighter shade today underneath. You can make it go a little bit longer till you can blend it. Something like that. I'm 
nice. I do have to get some more light in here somehow. I was going to bring my uh, ring light in here, but I don't have a place to plug it in. So I was like, well, I'm going to wing it today, but I'm going to try to figure it out tomorrow. How's it look? Pretty good. Okay, now we're going to just use the. Let's. What, we're going to use the pink on top today. We're going to use that the lighter pink on top. See how this looks. Kind of go with our. Today. You know, I like to go all the way to the brow because it blends. My brows in a little. And they say when you have like like puffy big area up here by your it's better a darker color and it makes it recede a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the back of the brush and kind of blend it. All the way down. I think that looks amazing. That looks really nice. Super cute, right? Very cute. Very nice. Okay. Let's see if we can find a little, we got an eyebrow pen, we got mascara, we're going to do a little eyeliner. This is not one that you can, I'm going to try to sharpen this, but I don't think you can. It doesn't look like it. All right. A little eyeliner. This one comes out a little thicker than the other one, so... I put it on a little thicker today. I have one darn hair that just won't go either way today. Pretty nice. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and let's see what else we're going to do here. Let's do our blush. This thing keeps pulling out, so I'm going to take it out of there. Let's do our blush. And I'm going to go with the really pinky one today, this one. I'm going to go with that today because I have this red shirt on, and I think it'll just kind of make it pop a little. We're getting ready for Valentine's. It's going to be coming. Just gonna kind of blend, blend it on each side. Quite a bit on today. You could do like a little of this browner color, kind of do that down here, kind of make your neck look a little thinner.
I think it does. Clean it out a little bit. Good. Got a little too much blush on, but we're going to blend it some more. Use a different brush. Put it down a little. Takes a little off. There. I like that much better. Looks pretty good. Okay, how about a little... Um... Use these. How about a little eyebrow? I'll do a little little touch up. Not anything fancy. Ooh. Too bad. I like that. The wispin and wispy in the wind, right? Or whis whispers in the wind, or what do you want to call it? It looks pretty good. Pretty good, hey? Not too bad. This side it could use a little. I got the this side is a little darker, a little heavier here. Just drop my mascara. That's too bad. There. I like it. I like it pretty good. Oh, and it rolled. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can see if I have another one. I think I'll throw it away. Let's see if I can get it. I had a brush down there, too. I didn't know. Okay. Sorry about that. Jay Minis. I'm going to do a little mascara. If I can get it open. Hands are a little... Now from bending down, my eyes are like blurry. What the heck? The makeup... Okay, and I don't have it's harder for me to see. I think I need to make my mirror a little taller because I'm having to lean down so far in this. Hear the birds outside. I have my window open. A little fresh air. And I just bought bird seed, but I'm going to take it away from the house. I'm going to take all my feeders, all my bird houses, all away from the house because I've seen the raccoon and the squirrel come and get everything. And then the birds don't get it. And it makes me so mad to watch it. And it also draws mice. So 
You have to be careful with that stuff, all that seed. And I mean, you're, I think I'm doing a good thing, but then, you know, there's other consequences that come with it. It's like, shoot, you try to be so kind and so good and giving, and then all of a sudden, you get the part you don't want, right? I think it looks pretty good. So I hope you guys are doing some kind things to yourself, especially this week. You know? When you're ready to get on the weight loss program, just reach out to me. We'll get you signed up. We'll get you the program in front of you that day. It's all written out, easy to follow. Comes with video and walk you along process. And you get weekly calls with me. Yes. Very nice. Help get you on the right track. Fit into that bathing suit this summer. Go play with your kids and grandkids. Have fun. Stop feeling bad about yourself. Feel really good about yourself. Uplift your heart, right? It would uplift your heart. Because we can do all this makeup all day long. But the true kicker is when you look in that mirror at your body, you look in that mirror. You see somebody that you don't recognize anymore. You see something that you don't want to see. That's where it hits home. That's what I want to help you with. I keep your stuff personable. I don't like spread. You don't hear me on here talking about all my clients and, you know, this one's got that and this one's got this and this one's doing this. You don't hear that. I don't do that. I keep everything, everybody private. Because if I was in a weight loss program with someone and they started airing my personal stuff I would be upset I would be hurt feelings I would be upset and I don't want anyone to feel like that that's not a way to lose weight you don't need a coach that's going to do that to you you don't need as a coach you don't need all the hype that you have all these clients lined up you don't need all the hype that you know to use those people your clients as um Bait, you know what I mean? Forget it. Okay, we have all of our makeup on now. No, we don't. We forgot our lips. Oh, we can't forget our lips, especially during Valentine's Day. You never know who wants to give us a nice big kiss. Oh my gosh, how could we forget our lips? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. And I didn't find any red lipstick yet, so we're going to use this hot pink, which I don't really care for, but it's what I have. I'm going to have to go makeup shopping. That would be fun. I'll bring you guys along. You guys want to come along? <gasps> if I can record from my phone. My phone, I have to pay for storage, and i just trying to not to. I just have to quit being cheap about it and just do it. I have to do it. And I might get a new phone. My phone's getting pretty old. We're just going to do our regular lip size today. But man, come uh, Wednesday, 
Valentine's Day, we might try to make them look really plump and scrumptious, right? We might. Okay, let's do a little lipstick here. I think this is the lipstick tent, they call it. My daughter-in-law bought me this. Stays on really good. I can't tell if I got it upside down or not. Maybe it goes like that. My daughter-in-law bought me that. I think for my birthday or Christmas or something. And I probably need a good note. I thought I took out my um, gloss. Or I did. Can't find it, but I don't see anything. I don't see either of my glasses in the drawer. Oh, I got one. It's not the one I was looking for. I was looking for the. Um, oh, it fell down in here. <laughs> I did find it. All right, let's use this one. I'm gonna use this one. And I don't know. To take the tag of all the they seal it up so much that it's so time consuming taking all paper off. Beautiful, perfect, <gasps> just gorgeous, right? Yes, I like it. I don't know what to think about my hair today, it's something different. But once I, and I didn't care for it before the makeup, but once I have the makeup on, I did do a little curl, but I did my dishes and I did all the cleaning up. And now the curl is almost all gone. My hair won't keep a curl. I told you guys that, but um, it fell out. I was doing a lot of busy cleanup work or whatever. So I am trying little by little to get ready for Valentine's Day. So I hope to do my nails tomorrow or tonight, but I'd like to find a red polish. I might have one. I, I have a lot of polish, so I might have one. Um, so I'm going to maybe start doing that. And then I have to do my toes over again because I just got the brown on there. And now if I change the nails, I got to change the toes too because I like matching, matching stuff. I do like matching. Um, but anyway, so. Um, what was I going to say? Something about, um, about Valentine's Day. So yeah, so I've been carrying um, this little purse just for work. And it's like a little denim bag that I made. And I've been carrying that for my purse just back and forth to the Airbnb. And that's all I really do um, here lately in the winter. I've not been going hardly anywhere I'm just really staying homebound. I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of research, a lot of different things, making new recipes and just having fun, actually having fun for once, right? But anyway, long story short, my husband bought me a gift for Christmas and I haven't even gotten it out of the box yet. So I would like to pull that out of the box today and change purses while I'm online, because it's something I need to do today. And I love when you guys are here with me, but I still got stuff to do, you know? Um, so I have to make this a little bit productive for me too. Now that I have my glasses on, let me see how I look. Pretty good. My face is really still a little dry looking. Not too bad, not too bad. I got one eyelash, little... There, and I got this eyelash just a little. You see, I couldn't see all that without my makeup. So when I put my makeup on, I'm half blind doing it. But let's see. I got one lip just a little bit. There. More than the other one. But I like it, you guys. I like it. Okay, so anyway, he bought me a gift. So he bought me this Aldo little purse. And I'm not going to carry it all the time, but I have to cut it out of the darn bag. 
so taking off the tags. He got it at TJ Maxx. Looks like. He leaves the tags on always. So I have to cut it out of here. And so I got these little scissors. Oh, it's got a chain handle. And it's got a um, little credit card thing. Oh, there, okay. Get rid of the box. I'll put it in my closet, the box, so I can put it back in there. So isn't it adorable? It is so cute. Isn't it cute? Just adorable. Oh, I'm trying to go this way. I don't know which way to go with the camera. Okay, over this way. So I thought it was adorable. So it's even got the little insignia on it here. Let's see it. So I'm going to change purses. Oh, and it flips up. The little thing flips up. So we got all this paper, plastic. Stuff. Pulled out. So I have my purse here. So it has, it has a big opening. You can see. And then it has a zipper. I'm trying to get to where I can show you guys the zipper part. Right here is the zipper. You see it? Right there. Right here. The zipper. And so then and then it has this front flap too. So you can put, you know, things in there. So it's kind of nice. So I'm just gonna carry it probably for just, you know, past a little bit, maybe, maybe this week, maybe past um Valentine's Day. Um, and then I'm gonna keep it kind of for good. So but anyway, this bag is what I've been carrying. This is one that I made. I actually have three of them that are for sale that I didn't ever sell on. And maybe on, I don't know if I still have those on Poshmark or not. Okay, so I have my two checkbooks that I carry. More than that, but I carry those two. And I carry quite a bit of stuff, let me tell you. And then I have my little wallet. Someone bought me for a uh, cute little wallet somebody bought me for a birthday present it has a little little thing that started to come undone and then it has I have a bunch of receipts I need to take out of here I get that stuff and then I have money just loose in my um, in my purse so I need to put that in there now do you guys like file your money like you file it I, we file our money like you file it, you know, you put it all in sequence and in order. So you have your ones on top and then you have your your fives, your fives. So you put your fives like this. So you got your ones on top. Then you put your fives and then you put your tens. If I had a 10, I'd put a 10. Then you put your tens and then you put your 20s and then you put your hundreds or whatever. So you file your money and then you put it in your purse like this. So. So that way, the first thing that people see is the the singles, right? And then um, kind of go from there. So that's just um, how we file our money. We keep our money straight. Keep it straight in your purse. And then I got my little cards there. And then this thing snaps. Wallet. And then I hope I have room for it. I know I won't fit my big thing of keys in here. I might have to figure out what to do with my keys because I have keys to the apartments. I have keys to here, keys to so much keys, right? The Airbnb and let me see if I can fit it in here. Let me see. Probably won't close. I'm going to try to stuff them. Probably my house alarm will go off. Try to stuff this in here. <laughs> Oh shit. Maybe not. Okay, I can barely fit it. Now, whatever else I have in my purse, you see. Uh, receipts, some micro greens that were in my car. I <laughs> put those where they belong. 
Some little tissue. Yes, I need those. I always have a runny nose, but I see that's why I won't carry this very long because it's just not enough room for when I work. When I work and I like beat purses up and I'm back and forth and cleaning and you know, throwing your purse down and in a hurry and trying to get somebody in there and trying to get um, all this stuff done in a timely manner, especially in the summer when it's turnover time, right? Then I'll have to put my driving glasses in there too. And then I have my change that went to the bottom of my bag. And I got a Mother Mary here. I put, put money in her, my change. So I don't carry that much change. Okay, so we got rid of that purse. I was sick of carrying that anyway. I'm going to throw it in my bed. All right, and then I got a bunch of receipts to go through. Um, Lowe's and Menards and stuff that we bought. So I have to go and file those in our, our tax spot. So in case there's something for our house like we're redoing or bought for whatever. So I have to go through the receipts. And then I still have this little thing that... I'm just going to stick it in my purse for now. So I really need it. But my glasses won't fit. They'll have to be separate. And my lipstick. That's the only thing that I really, really miss missing. I can fit my lipstick. Okay. But I cannot fit my glasses. So those I'll have to put in a little glass case and carry those separate for a week. And I want to make sure that I can snap it. Boy, it's stuffed. See, that's why I can't carry this. But when I would go away and wear a dress and go, we would go out, you know, I wouldn't be carrying all this stuff, you know. I would only be carrying, you know, uh, like I wouldn't take all my checkbooks and all my stuff. I just take my wallet and I just take my tissue and a lipstick and I'm good to go. I don't need all that other stuff, you know, like I do, like when I work, you know. Um, so anyway, so I have to make sure that I have to come back for my glasses and I have to come back for this tool. I have to tighten up one of the beds and my husband can't seem to get over there. And I'm like, give me the damn tool. I'll do it myself. <laughs> so he gave me the tool today. Like, keep that in your purse. Make sure you tighten that bed up. And I said, I'm gonna. <laughs> So that's what's going to be going on today. So anyway, I am starved and it's like two o'clock already. You guys, let's, well, we'd have to do a little something here. So um, we'll do it in the kitchen because I think I left the recipe out there. So we'll just do that. We'll just do it in the kitchen. Yeah, we can do it. Let's do it. I hope that's where I left the recipe. All right, I'm going to shut that off. And I'm just going to unplug the computer. I'm going to take you guys with me. I am going to pop on my watch because I love this thing. When you get a phone call, it comes across on your watch. And you can just talk right into your, if, you, if I'm busy, then I can just talk right into my watch. Especially like when I'm upstairs at the Airbnb and my purse is down. Uh, and I don't take it up with me or whatever. And I can just talk on my phone to my husband or whatever and tell him just a minute, I'll go get my phone. And then I go down and get my phone. But, you know, so anyway, move this box so I can walk through here. Made a little bit of a mess today, but you guys are so worth it. You guys are so worth it. Let's go. Let's make some breakfast. Aren't we hungry? I'm starved. Um, so let's do this thing. So I'm going to unplug. Let's go. Let's do this thing. I am so hungry. And I I did pretty good yesterday, but boy, there was just so much food and all this stuff. And it's like, oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put you guys like so you can see what I'm doing. Let me see see me I don't want you to get be too far away but you know you know I can cut out all that other background stuff here you can see my stove and stuff too there we'll do that I'm gonna wash my hands and let me find my recipe where the heck did I put it um oh sorry wash my hands 
And we have the recipe. And I'm going to share that with you guys. And I was going to talk to you guys a little bit about something. On the page right here. All right, let's go over the recipe first and let's uh, whip this thing up. Tropical summer smoothie. Yes. So it has um, it has one cup of plain yogurt, one cup. I thought it said half a cup of mango. We got a half a cup of mango, half a cup of mango, one small banana. We're going to put the whole banana in there. That'll make up for the half for the other half a cup of mango that I didn't cut up. So, and then a half a cup of pineapple, a quarter cup of coconut milk powder, and then a tea tablespoon of lime juice. It is about two and 230 calories somewhere in there at proximity. But since we're splitting that up a little bit, it may be a little bit off, but it should be still like maybe under 300 calories. So that's pretty good for a breakfast. So um, that's pretty good. So we're going to blend this thing up. And I got a notice on my... Get rid of this. Keeps wanting me to sign up for Apple stuff. All right, we're not going to use the big thing here. Well, I think I think it would all fit into. Um, I'm hoping it all fits into here. It's going to be much easier to blend it. I keep getting notices. Oh, it's wanting me to sign up to do a podcast, which I am going to eventually, but don't rush me. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna put in the yogurt. So we have one cup of yogurt. Let's do this. And usually I don't eat this much sweet in the morning. Now, if I were making it without following a, a certain recipe, like um, if I were truly making it for myself, what I eat, I would be putting a handful of spinach and some celery in here with it. So that's what I would be doing. But I'm just showing you this way because it is um, how it was meant to be is more tropical, not healthy it's more more tropical but if it were me i would be putting in some other ingredients we're going to do a banana like this would have me on sugar overload a little bit I got a little bad spot on the banana let's get rid of that so we have banana we're going to use the whole banana it only called for a half but we're going to use the whole banana because we only have a half a cup of mango. Oh, that's going to be delicious. Mango. Okay. There's something on here. Wash this thing. All right. And then we have pineapple. So we have a half a cup of pineapple. And then we are going to do the... Um, coconut powder, coconut milk powder. And I think I bought this on um, Thrive Market is where I think I got that. That's going to make it delicious. And then we're going to do a little lime juice, so a half of a lime, and we're just going to kind of see if we can get some little juice out of here. I love lime juice. It actually agrees with me better than uh, lemon. Okay, throw that stuff away. And then we may need to add a little um, water or milk. I'm going to add a little water anyway because I want this thing to actually uh, whip up and not just get stuck. So we're going to bring it to the max. We're going to bring it right there. 
and it should do fine. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. And I brought some coconut milk out here in case I wanted to add a little more coconut milk, but that coconut milk powder is very concentrated, so it should be plenty, plus the water that I added. So we're going to go ahead and blend this up. Get our sugar fix on. I'm gonna have to really watch it for dinner and for um for dinner and for if I have a snack. I'll have to really, really watch it. But I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna rinse these a little bit because I just got my dishes in the dishwasher and everything clean, and I want to keep it clean. It's so much nicer working in your kitchen when everything is clean you know it just feels so good so i went all through my kitchen a while back ago i need to do it again but a while back ago and i um cleaned everything i cleaned all kinds of stuff so we have that and that that to put away and then we have to get a paper just about out of this large paper i got another one that's smaller i'm gonna wrap up the line in that let me get rid of this all right looking pretty good you guys not too bad we didn't make too much of a mess so that's not too bad i'm gonna wrap up the line we're gonna pour this in a uh glass and we're gonna taste it we're gonna put these away i'm gonna just put that down there for now Put this milk away in the line. Oh, my fridge is just filled. My husband brought home so much stuff. We need a glass. I like these big mason jar glasses. I drink out of those constantly. And we're sure going to get enough. And if you want to measure it out and only have half, then you could do that. I just want to wash this thing. So we are up to the top. Look there. And I'm going to drink the whole thing because I did not have breakfast or lunch. I not have anything yet. I am so hungry. But when we want something good, sometimes we have to skip a meal to have something good. You know, that's what I do. If I want something really good or, or I know that we're going to go out to eat um, or we're going to go and do something and or we're going to go to my son's house and he likes to cook for us and all that, um, then I make sure, oopsie, I make sure that I don't get a new one, that I don't, um, I, I like really watch it, you know, you just you have to watch it. So uh, if I had a straw, I'd put a straw in because it's so to the top. I know I got straws. Let's see. Oh, delicious. That is so good. So sweet. So good. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. So it's really kind of mellow. You can taste the coconut milk. You can taste all of them. You can taste the pineapple. You can taste the banana. And you can taste a little bit of the mango. Mango is like a little hint of mango. I wish I would have put a um, a whole bit, um, a whole cup of mango. Mm. So good. I am going to enjoy that for sure. All right, let's talk a little bit about. Um, let's talk a little bit about. 
um, low fat. So let me push you back just a little bit. Or I can scoot back here. All right. So low fat. So uh, low fat, fat free, and sugar free can all be confusing. And I, I understand that because when I first started my diet journey, um, it was all very confusing to me. So when things are marked sugar free, it does not mean it is calorie free. A lot of people think that. A lot of people think that if it's marked sugar free, then it's calorie free too. No, it's not. And when products are marked fat free and low fat, it doesn't mean it is low in calorie either. So a lot of times they will, you know, trick you on the marketing on on the product itself. So you have to be very careful. You have to read the nutrition label to really look at the ingredients to know for sure what you're getting. Um, so when it comes down to uh, reading your nutrition labels, because sometimes when things are marked fat free and low fat, they are full of sugar instead. So they get off putting that in there, but then they add on the sugar. That's the problem. So make sure you really know what you're getting. Make sure that you read your food labels. And also when it says sugar, you look at the sugar, how much it says on the food label, but underneath that, it will have added sugar. And a lot of people miss that. A lot of people skip looking at the added sugar. So then you add those together there, then that's how much real sugar is in that product, you know? So it's the sugar, the added sugar, all the sugars that they have listed there is what you want to make sure that you are, you know, incorporating in your figures or, or, or watching. So nowadays food labels just they just do these food labels just to sell the product in a particular category. What they say on the food product may be only a tiny bit of what they label it as. Taking in around 25 to 30 grams of fat a day for a woman. That's about the average of what you should take in unless you are like really lifting weights, you're really working out, um you may need more. Uh, if you're really hitting it hard, lifting weights. But it should be a good fat. It shouldn't be just um, like animal fat, right? It should be good fat, like olive oil and like uh, avocados and the good fat, right? So you have to be very careful of the type of fat that you're taking in. So here are some things you can do to avoid the bad fats. So these are some things that you could start working on and that you could start changing a little bit. And you know how I always talk to you about, um, you know, maybe you're not ready to change, but if you are ready to change, you could um, start incorporating some of these things. So um, it would help you. It would really help you. So you can switch to a fat-free milk or a plant-based milk, which I did. I switched to a plant-based milk, but um, not every plant-based milk agrees with me. So I have to be very careful uh, on that. And then I think I find a yogurt that I can eat that is plant-based. And then all of a sudden I start having problems. So then I just started making my own yogurt out of, um, you know, regular milk. Uh, that way it, um, it, it agrees with me. Okay. You know, so you just, you, you just have to do what's best for you. Each person is different. You know, we work through all those issues. You know, when we, we talk online about your particular problems and your particular, um, diet, you know, and so you want to also do this. You want to trim the fat off of, if you're still eating meat, you want to trim the fat off of your meat that the visible fat that you can see, you know, trim it off even before you cook it, you know, just trim the fat off. Um, I don't eat that much meat. Once in a while, I'll have a little bit of pork chop, but I can hardly, since I've been off of it for so long, I can hardly stand it. I'm going to just tell you the truth. Um, but maybe just a little bit I could stomach, but I don't really care for it. Um, and then I do eat chicken and I do eat lots of fish. Um, so you want to trim the fat off the fish, uh, and chicken or whatever type of meat it is that you're still on. 
Uh, this is uh, before you're cooking it. And then the next one is stop frying things. Please stop frying things, you know. Um, you know, if you use a little bit of, of um, a spray, that's one thing. Uh, but like frying it in lard, butter, or vegetable oils, or Crisco. People used to use that Crisco and fry and fry and fry stuff. Their stoves would be all gunky and, yeah, yeah terrible. <laughs> Sorry. It's just so gross to me. But anyway, <laughs> please don't use that kind of stuff. So many, what I like to do is I fry a lot of things in water. I like simmer things. I put water in the bottom of the pan. Like I did my bean burgers the other day. I knew they would stick if I didn't use something, but usually I like to try and use water. That's, that's the first opt. But uh, that would that would in no way worked with water. Um, but I could get a new spray. My spray ran out. I had avocado spray and I ran out of it and I have to get some more. So now I'm using this commercial spray um, that I don't care for. So um, but I do have to switch that out. But anyway, regardless of what I'm doing, I'm trying to help you guys to change. But avocado oil is wonderful for the spray. I love that. And I love the avocado oil. I use a lot of that in my salad dressings and stuff instead of the olive oil. But I do use olive oil, too, back and forth. Um, so it just depends. Um, but that is a healthier fat than some of this other stuff that I mentioned. So um, you could start using olive oil or avocado oil to butter your bread and switch to a non-trans fat margarine. So uh, we love olive oil around here, like to put on our toast, put on our bread, or while we'll put a regular avocado on our bread, um, just depending. So you could start getting in the habit of just switching out your butter, switch out to something that's healthier. You know, that would be one big, huge start, especially if, especially if you are a a butter person, you know, or, or frying in Crisco or whatever, you know, it's something is way better. It can help you. Um, and then the next one is when cooking, use water when you can to cook with or wine, you can use wine. You could use, cause it burns off the alcohol. So you just get that little bit of wine flavor, which is really nice. And then, um, lemon or lime juice, or you could use other fruits uh, instead of oils. So that is very helpful too. And um, so oils still have calories. Oils are still high in calories. So you have to measure and you have to watch how much you're using. So be cautious of that. Just don't go dumping, right? Just, you know, if it's a spray, that's one thing that you're spraying the pan, but I'm, I'm talking about in a recipe or, you know, using it on your toast and stuff, measure it out, measure out one tablespoon or measure out one teaspoon, know where you stand all throughout the day, where you stand calorie wise, you know, how many calories you're already up to, how much you have to watch it before you get to after dinner, you know, you have to, you know, you have to know where you are and all the way along the lines. And then next one is increase your fruit as, as in berries into your diet, along with more vegetables instead of fat free foods. So a lot of times people will go and find a fat free food to eat, thinking that they're not getting as many calories instead of picking up a piece of you know, I like berries myself. This is this is like an exception for me to have this smoothie. I don't really have this, this kind of a thing, you know, um, unless I have greens that go with it because then it stabilizes your sugar. Um, but if you eat, drink something like this that isn't like any greens in it, it's not going to stabilize your sugar as much. So um, just be cautious of that. But I eat a lot of blueberries. I eat a lot of raspberries. I love blackberries. I eat tons of blackberries. Those are the foods that I stick to. And I only have a quarter of a banana at a time. So that's what I do. My personal, I watch all the other fruit. Once in a while, I'll have some other fruit, but I try to make sure that I'm having a vegetable with it or a protein with it. So, um, you know, so the next one is do not use hydrogenated oils, 
They contain trans fats, which are really unhealthy. So don't use those. And then avoid fried foods, fast foods, and restaurant foods. You pick up so many calories eating at a restaurant. It just is unbelievable. You know, and they're back there in the kitchen cooking, and you have no control over what they're doing to your food. They're going to serve your food. They're going to make it nice and easy for you to just receive it and eat it. But you have no idea what they're putting in that food, how much sodium went into that food, how much sugar went into that food, how much, you know, artificial flavors and colorings and all this stuff. You don't have any control of over it once you consume it, you know, or once you get it and you consume it. But so you want to be very careful about restaurant food. And we have been doing really good about not eating out, not buying out and staying at home and cooking at home. And it has really, really helped me. Um, so I hope I can get the next 25 pounds off and really focus on myself a little bit more. So that's what I've been trying to do. That's why I've been making these videos because it's my turn to, it's my turn to, um, get the rest of my weight off and to exercise and to do the right things and to eat the right way and to show you all about what I do so you can do it too. So what I want to ask you today, just one last thing, if you'd like and subscribe and also what is your, when is your turn? When is your turn to get the weight off? When is it going to be your turn that you get to enjoy the smaller you and to be able to um, you know, be able to live life fuller, right? Um, so let me know um, in the comments below if you liked my makeup setup today, if it went okay, uh, and let me know about that. And also, please put something in the comments. I would really appreciate that so much. Um, if you would put something in the comments that um, that you like the videos or what part of the video do you like? Do you like the the cooking part? Do you like the makeup only part? Do you like uh, the tips that I give you? Uh, what is it the part that you like? Please comment below. I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow. And um, I might, um, I, I think we're going to plant seed tomorrow because I really need to get these in, into some uh, soil. So I think we're going to plant some trees tomorrow. So we're going to plant some pine trees. So I want to do that. And then I think what we're going to be going over tomorrow is I have it written out for you guys already for tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to be talking about. Obesity. Sad health related problems. No one likes to talk about. So that's what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. And we're going to be planting some pine trees. And if you want me to make a recipe, you have to put it in the comments below. Otherwise, we're not going to do a recipe tomorrow. So let me know. Let me know um, if you like the recipe part. And we can sure whip it up in this kitchen. We can do it. Okay. I'll talk to you guys all later. Love you guys. Here's a big hug from me. Okay, and make sure you get moving and you drink a lot of water and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye bye now.